Hi, I'm Paul Begay, AST Systems Designer. Once again, we're talking about the AST Endurance Filter. Same red food coloring in the water so that we can see where the water is, where the air and beads are. What we're going to be talking about today is the automatic sludge removal on this particular unit. Again, this is the gravity fed air lift return configuration. And with that, we are going to be looking at an automatic sludge discharge, which is starting right now. So let's go over what's happening. We're injecting air into the air chamber through a linear air pump. That bubble forming here in the trigger, this bubble is pushing down. Over here, it's also pushing down on this sludge chamber. All this sludge down here is being pushed downward, upward, and moving out, and is now in our external sludge settling basin, okay? We just witnessed the backwash. No sludge removal right now. I set my height of my sludge discharge. To determine that, I'll set a couple of clear pipes here and here, and if I want to remove more sludge per backwash cycle, I can lower this T. If I want to remove less sludge per backwash cycle, I'll raise this T a little bit, okay? So while this fills up automatically, hands off, let's talk about a couple of options for this type of filter with this automatic sludge removal setup, right? So let's take your uh, cord pond. Backwashing on its own, sludge removal on its own, uh, an aquaponics system, backwashing on its own, automatic sludge removal into an external basin that you can then mineralize, uh, or a standard aquaculture system where you're going to be automatically backwashing and then getting your uh, waste out from your system. So again, we witnessed another backwash. This backwash cycle is very, very quick, right? So we can control that by our airflow meter, okay? So real easy to set up, a lot of practical uses, all hands off, a lot of fun. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time.